Hi Libra, welcome to your general love reading for the second half of November 2021. This is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. And because it's general, it's not going to resonate for all of you, but if you want, you can book a personal reading with me. All of that information is in the description box below this video. So let's see what is going on with Libra mid-November. Okay, we have offer. All right, so somebody is either thinking about giving you an offer, somebody's coming in with an offer, or maybe you are offering something to somebody else. Let's see, we will find out, but keep in mind that the roles can be reversed because this reading is general. All right, so let's, let's see, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Last two weeks of November, what is going on? So for this situation, we have the Six of Pentacles crossed by the Fool. All right, that's interesting. Gemini just had the Fool, I think, um, in the same position here. Let's see the recent past. We have the Two of Pentacles. Near future, we have the Eight of Wands. For your energy, we have the Moon. That's Pisces energy. Uh, for then, the Page of Cups. More about you is the Eight of Swords. Hmm. For them, the Knight of Swords and potential outcome here. We have oh, the Ten of Swords. All right, let's see. What is happening here, Libra? There is some kind of an ending, though. There is some kind of an ending. Um, we'll see what that's actually about because it's interesting because there is an offer. Um, I feel like there's an issue here with reciprocity overall um, and somebody just not being able to fully go all out when it comes to how much it is that they can that they can give all right to the situation and I feel like this may have been going on for a pretty long time because in the recent past we have the two of pentacles so there's been a lot of juggling um, struggling trying to cope with the situation possibly somebody having to deal with more than one energies that's really coming through here by having both the Two of Pentacles as well as the Six of Pentacles. Um, for you, with the Moon and the Eight of Swords, yeah, I feel like right now, um, you might be feeling a little bit lost, possibly, you know, overanalyzing the situation a little bit, not really knowing what's going to happen, just feeling like this is just not going anywhere. It's almost coming in like feeling like this is a dead end and that you just, everything just seems so up in the air that you really just don't even know what to think of this situation at the moment. For them, um, I mean, they, there is love here, all right? There is love, but I feel like this person is not giving much at the moment with the Page of Cups, um, it's like they're just offering you a little bit. I mean, this is an offer, obviously, right? So I do feel like the offer is coming in from the other person here, okay, unless the roles are reversed. But I do feel like this offer is small. Definitely action, yeah, because this person also has the Knight of Swords, so that's definitely taking some kind of an action here. Again, the offer seems to be small, but in, in the near future, I feel like things might accelerate in some way or another but it's like it's accelerating there's a lot of movement and then the ten of swords so i don't know i have a feeling you for now at least that you might be rejecting this let's clarify so let's see the six of pentacles with the fool All right, we have strength, so that's Leo energy, the seven of pentacles, and the high priestess. Yeah, 
Yeah, again, I mean, without Seven of Pentacles, I feel like it's the same message coming through. It's like somebody is giving a little bit. Somebody is doing a little bit of work. Somebody is putting in some effort. But it feels like it's, it's something that at the moment they're feeling or they've been feeling like it just re requires so much strength or so much energy from them in order to fully be able to complete this in the way that they need to. I feel like um, whatever that is, it would require for this person to actually do something different, do something new, do something in a different way than what they've been doing because what they've been doing has, has not been working. And so they need to just take a leap of faith, take a completely new um, path here, or a completely new, um, what's the word, um, method, right? They need to do something completely, completely differently, a, a, a new type of an approach towards this. And it does feel like, you know, their intuition is, is talking to them. Their intuition is definitely pushing them in that direction here. It's there, but it's like they're still just feeling like it's, it's such a challenge. So let's see. Because um, I do see them coming in with something here. Let's clarify the moon for your energy. Alright, we have the Three of Swords, the Tower, and the Eight of Cups. All right, so somebody has walked away here. I'm not sure if it's you or them. Um, and again, even this main situation that I'm talking about, it could be it could be you. Okay, it's just somebody is in this energy. Um, somebody has walked away here, and I feel like it's created a very very difficult time for you. And I feel like at the moment, yeah, you know, you're feeling, you're feeling the pain, you're feeling the ending, you're feeling like this is just done, like it's just never going to happen again. I do also see you kind of detaching from that pain, like I do feel like there is some healing, but I feel like at the moment, I don't know how, how much you can actually pick up on the fact that you are healing. Because I feel like, you know, with having the moon here, you're kind of left in the dark about what is going on with your own self, with them, with the connection. Almost like not not trusting anything right now. It's almost like you don't you don't you don't even know if you can trust yourself. If you can really believe what it is that you're feeling, are you detaching? Are you not detaching? Are you moving away? Are you not? Are you still hurting? Are you not? It's it's it just feels like everything right now is just just very very intense to the point where it causes you to lose sight of what's really going on but you know with the tower there's always there's always um a lot of soul growth that happens and the eight of cups does actually signify that moving away from something that was comfortable and allowing yourself to take a more difficult path through which you learn a lot and there will be a lot of soul growth here um let's see the eight of swords Four of Swords, yeah, see, you are healing. You are. Um, the Four of Swords, the Eight of Pentacles, and the Three of Wands. Yeah, so you're healing. It's just taking a little bit of time and and effort. I feel like you are putting in that work, whether you realize it or not. It's almost coming in like you don't even really need to put in a lot of effort. Like you don't need to spend a lot of energy trying trying to heal. It's, it's kind of like, you know... You can be passive and it's just kind of happening on its own. That's what tower moments do. I also feel like, you know, maybe in the past, um, you had spent a lot of energy waiting for this person, waiting for them to, you know, do whatever it is that they need to do in order for this connection to be in balance, right? Because it's obviously not in balance. Um, and that's something that you are healing now as well. All right. But there is still that bit of, you know, being in your head space about it as to whether you are or you aren't or, you know, what's going to happen and what you should do. And again, you know, it's, 
I feel like the guidance here is to really just allow allow yourself to just process this, process whatever it is that you're feeling. You know, just just become aware of as much as you can as to what is going on within you and allow everything else to just kind of unfold. So let's see the page of cups for them. This is really interesting. All right, I wonder if some of you are dealing with a Gemini because I feel like there's similar energy for them. Because um, we have the Nine of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Wheel of Fortune. It's like, yeah, there's, um, there's, a, there's either some regret here, because that's what I was getting with Gemini. Um, there's either some regret or just this person is feeling very, very anxious, very, very um, stressed. They are feeling some pain, possibly when it comes to actions that they have taken that may have been impulsive, okay, for some of them. Because they feel like some action that they took actually turned the wheel in a more negative direction, possibly. Like it turned the direction of your connection in a negative, in a negative way. Um, but this person is feeling so, like, so much in despair at the moment that they're wanting to come forward. They're wanting to take action to see if they can, you know, turn things back again. But I do, again, I do feel like that offer might be, it's going to fall short. Like, it's not going to be enough for you. It, that's just what I'm getting here. I feel like even with that Knight of Wands, like, it's, it's, it's coming in as a little bit, like, it's not the king. <laughs> You know, we have a page, we have a knight, but we don't have the freaking king here. So it might be something small. Um, let's see the knight of swords. Yeah, there's another knight there. There's definitely movement. That's for sure. There's definitely movement. This person is definitely trying to do something here. So let's see. Let's go. All right, judgment. Okay, there's a king, king of swords and the ace of pentacles okay so you know what through this whatever it is that is coming up whatever it is that they are thinking about doing or going to do that offer um because i do feel like they are thinking very very seriously about it um it's going to be a wake-up call for them this whole situation is a wake-up call for them whatever it is that has happened and i do feel like it is getting them to think it's really getting them to think on a more mature level and to, you know, fully um, own what it is that has happened here and what it is that has been happening, making them more determined. So it's like they're moving from that knight to the king, okay, which is leading them to a more solid kind of an offer here with the ace of pentacles. So I do feel like that will um, eventually come through as well. At least it's a potential. It's a potential for sure. But I feel like initially, this, this movement is going to start small, that or the offer is going to start small. I don't think you're going to fully accept it. And then I think this person is going to um, step it up a bit. They're going to step it up and move towards being that, that king. All right, so again, could be dealing with an air sign for some of you. So let's see the Eight of Wands for the near future. Yeah, see, Ace of Wands <laughs> and the Emperor, okay. Yeah, I feel like eventually this person is coming back full force. This person is trying to take control. They will, again, it feels like it's starting off slow and moving up towards that emperor. Wanting to start fresh, wanting to just, you know, light this up again, light up the, the connection. That's so also Aries showing up. So let's see the Ten of Swords. Okay, we have the Six of Swords, the Four of Pentacles, and the Ace of Cups. Libra, what's happening here? 
you know, there is, there is love here. That offer, I mean, we have like, how many aces did we get? We got three aces. And a whole bunch of movement. And yeah, I mean, this person is stepping it up. But again, you know, use your own intuition. Always follow your own, um, <laughs> you know, your own guidance from within. So, but... For those of you that this might resonate with, I'm seeing that this person is eventually trying to step it up, all right? It's going to be up to you, but I don't see you really um, accepting this at the moment. I feel like you're still just trying to move away because you don't want to deal with, with conflict. You don't want to be hurt anymore. I feel like, you know, you feel like you've gone through something so difficult that you're just kind of like holding back with that four of pentacles, like holding your energy and your heart to your own self, even if you still feel that, that love. And that's okay, you know, if that's what you feel like you're guided to do, then that's what, you know, you should be doing. But I, and I really feel like this is really just a matter of time. Um, I actually agree with you holding back until you've sorted out these energies that you're going through because you are going through some heavy, intense energies at the moment with that moon. You know, things are not seeming to be clear. So I do feel like, you know, once you are clear, then you will be in a better position to, to make a decision or to see what it is that you want to do. But for the time being, all right, the outcome here for this time period at least, is that Ten of Swords and I feel like that's really what is going to, um, how your person is going to be affected. All right, Libra. Let's see if this resonated. Let's get the final Oracle message for you. And please do give me a thumbs up if it did. Libra, final message, please. I almost had a feeling, actually not almost, I had a feeling this card was going to pop up. The full moon in Leo, don't let pride get in your way. Um, not for now, just for later, right? Just for, and this might only be for some of you. You know, make sure that it's not a self-defense mechanism. Um, staying away from this person if this person is really, you know, taking those steps and if that's what you really want because we do have the Ace of Cups. All right, um, but definitely, definitely listen to your intuition and wait for these intense energies to clear up. That's the message here. All right, Libra, those were your messages. So thank you so much for watching and much love.